actually sort of spent quite a lot of time looking at the development of the building because we were in right from the planning stage. Some of the features that are most exciting to me are the classrooms, the labs that we'll be able to teach in, teach in new and different ways. The Ark of Time, which will be part of the garden that's planted um, with plants sort of mirroring the evolutionary timeline. Now, as a laboratory building, you can't have a total green roof on the very top story of it because you've got all these uh, infrastructural items sticking up like fume hood, vents, and all that sort of thing. But for this building, they've designed a ramp that ramps up from literally the ground floor, the sidewalk, all the way up one side of the building, be on the west side up to about the third level. I started doing research with green roofs probably about seven or eight years ago and part of my research was to see how we could effectively grow green roofs in Southern California. It's going to be the kind of a green roof where you don't grow trees and all that sort of stuff on it but you have low-lying shrubs kind of like what you see around here. So when it rains you're going to get a lot of natural aerial pollutants settling on hard surfaces, including the green roof. Here, they will be absorbed into the soils as part of the green roof structure. Eventually, when it gets saturated, you will get fluid coming out, some kind of water. So we're going to have the ability to sample that water and sample the water coming off that hard roof that's not a green roof at the very top of the building and then compare the two. And so this way, the students can see what kind of contaminants are accumulating in an area like you see around here, regular roofs that would eventually go out into the ocean versus what a green roof could do. The teaching terrace is an area that extends around sort of on the, the second floor and it's, it's going to have um, the ability to plant, um, put plants into boxes. So instead of it sort of being extensive like the um, green roof and sort of just low growing plants, we're going to be able to put in bigger plants into that area. Well, some of the techniques that we use are actually quite instrument intensive. What we can do is we can sort of do runs here on the teaching terrace where we can optimize the instrumentation and our approach to using it before actually going down into the wetlands.